each winter, 25,000 gigatons of sea ice form around Antarctica, and it grows by more than the size of Australia. This animation, using two years of satellite data, shows how the continent is constantly changing. The greatest seasonal shift anywhere on the Earth has a profound effect on life across the planet, and it's all because of the physics of saltwater. To see this process in action means observing Antarctica as winter descends. Night falls. The longest night on Earth. A catabatic wind blows. It is driven by cold air falling from Antarctica's mountains. The 150 kilometer per hour blast brings everything to a standstill. Emperor penguins are one of the few animals to remain here throughout the winter. But even they are barely able to survive these bone-chilling conditions. In a remote area of coastline called the Weddell Sea, a series of polynias form. These are large regions of open salt water surrounded by ice. Here, the catabatic wind cools the seawater to sub-zero temperatures. A critical threshold is crossed once the upper layer of ocean falls below minus one and a half degrees Celsius. Now another remarkable property of salt water takes over. On the surface, the sea begins to freeze. At a microscopic level, tiny crystals start to grow, knitting themselves together. As it freezes, the seawater must release its salt. The water that isn't frozen becomes saltier still. It forms a brine that drips down narrow elongated tubes in the freshly made ice. is denser than regular seawater, and it sinks downwards. This heavy salt water takes with it oxygen from the air above. Now it carries that oxygen into the depths below. formation of ice accelerates in speed and scale. Soon, large slicks appear on the surface and begin to thicken into a solid mass. What started as a microscopic process can be seen from space within just seven days. Now, the latest surveys by satellites and submarine sensors reveal an ancient yet invisible consequence of this remarkable transformation. Every second, 
one and a half million cubic meters of dense salty water sink downwards. An unstoppable vertical current. Where the water meets the sea floor, it spreads out over hundreds of kilometers. It cascades over the continental shelf. A vast submarine waterfall appears, never seen by human eyes. A torrent equivalent to 500 million Niagara Falls. dense, oxygenated brine falls slowly, silently, into the abyss. It will not resurface for at least a thousand years. This animation, using data from a group of satellites called Gochi, reveals what happens next. Combined with other measurements, it shows how the outflow from Antarctica drives water back towards the equator. A steady flow of deep, cold, salty liquid migrates northwards. As these slow-moving currents travel silently across the globe, they stir and cool all the world's oceans. This ancient system regulates the average temperature of the water to within half a degree. Such stability has enabled life to prosper, protecting it from wild swings in the planet's climate. When finally the deep water returns to the surface, it begins a more dynamic existence as it joins warmer, faster currents. Seen from up here, the entire ocean is revealed as a single, never-ending swirling mass. These surface currents vary in temperature depending on the energy they receive from the sun. This in turn determines the amount of vapor that is released into the air. It's these variations that drive seasonal changes on land as well as ocean. As the Gulf Stream cools in the fall, it causes New England maple trees to turn red and shed their leaves. Six months later and half the world away, another current called the Kuroshio starts to warm and cherry trees burst into blossom all over Japan. Similar processes are happening all across the world, governing the seasonal cycles of almost all life on the Earth. Seen from space, the ocean and the atmosphere are intrinsically linked. A continuous system joined together by water, 12 trillion tons of which is floating around in the air at any one time. Every single storm, every single raindrop, 
is one part of this vast engine that powers so much of the activity that defines our world. But there's still more to this planetary mechanism than there seems. The cold Antarctic brine will soon undergo another transformation as it interacts with one of the Earth's most violent systems. And where fire and water meet, something magical happens. A process that underpins almost all life on the Earth.